Chevy Chase got given a late night talk show. It lasted, I think, 16 episodes. There were some good, good people on there. As you can see in this interview with Stephen Stills from September 14th, 1993, Chase was not cut out to be a talk show host. Not good at it. Not funny. Not quick. Not witty. But the only thing that came out in this interview and shocking really is that Stephen Stills was impressed and wanted to play with the spin doctors. <laughs> Go figure. I guess that's what happens with years of uh, living the rock and roll lifestyle. Your judgment gets clouded and you're hard to be in a band with and maybe he and Chris Barron could have duked it out. I mean Chris was a spindly lanky tall guy but but just still still could have taken him. It's going to fall. It's going to fall. This is where you usually fall. Huh? Yeah, this is right here. Hey, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Thank is there you. any significance to that song? It's a beautiful song. That song is it goes out to the new spokesperson for the National Waste oh, Solid oh, Waste oh, Management. Solid waste my yes. wife? Yes. <laughs> I wanted to send that to Oh, that's, that's nice of you. Thanks. What a, I, I don't want to go to where what that does. Uh, well, I don't know how you can manage a solid waste no. on such a big level. <laughs> uh, Steve. Yes. Next year is your 25th anniversary mm. of Crosby, Stills & Nash. They couldn't get rid of us. It, it's amazing. Do you have any special plans for the occasion? Or are you going to... Well, uh, uh, catching all three of us to sit down and talk what we're going to do about it is sort of like catching the proverbial greased pig. You know, mm. David's off doing a show, a TV show, and... Yeah. And Graham's off doing something with our two computers. I don't know. And, uh, but uh, we, we, we're, we're, it's in the planning stage. It's just going to be a big year, though. There should be, but you got to play together. Oh, I mean, sure. Oh, yeah. Sure. Actually, I think that's why we took this year off. It's because we're basically going to live together next year. Yeah. So. That's, it's always fun to live with Dave, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. if, if you could do it differently, I mean, all of these years, would you have done anything differently besides Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Taking better care of my teeth. You have beautiful teeth. Ah, well, I'll tell you, it's cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars, too. Oh, really? Yeah. No, it's just, you know, it's, my dentist said to me, you know, explain to me your first visit to the dentist. And I told him about the guy sitting on my chest with a pair of pliers. Oh. And he said, behind every mouth like yours is a story like that. That's true. Too much candy? No, just basically, I don't know, bad breeding. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you're working much of the time, I mean, do you have any favorite bands today that you could recommend oh, I to me? the Spin Doctors. I want to play with the Spin Doctors. Oh, yeah. Doctors. I want to play with the Spin Doctors. Obviously, we do the same sort of feels and stuff. I want to play with that drummer big time. I can't thing. say I blame you. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> a great band. I'm really glad to see them doing well. Well, listen, thanks for being here. It's great to hear you. I wish you could stay longer, but I know you got to go. Uh, or you if you don't, go back to the wax museum. You got, you got to go back to the wax. I've got to go. Yeah. Back to the wax museum. That was the funniest piece of television I've seen in years. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll be right back with a uh, news update and Jim Matheson.